uh, you had also talked about this schoolhouse to jailhouse pipeline, mm -hmm. and you think that you mentioned that as a civil rights issue. Can yes. you tell me why that is? Well, the United States Commission on Civil Rights has uh, 51 state advisory committees, and several of our state advisory committees here in the southeast region of the United States have actually recently looked at the topic of disparate school discipline and how it impacts students of color. And their findings indicate, for example, that African American students are more likely to have disproportionate penalties uh, imposed upon them in school settings. Do you know why? Well, it's a number of factors. You know, we, we look at various factors as to why that happens, and there's no one answer to it because every school district is different, of course. But what, what you can see from the studies is that there's an increased likelihood, and the studies, these are studies in addition to the study that has been done by the Civil Rights Commission's state advisory committees, that other studies show that when you are subject to disparate impact, disparate treatment uh, in school discipline, you're more likely to be someone who drops out of high school, for example. And if you're more likely to drop out of high school, you're very much more likely to interact with the criminal justice system. And then we see when students of color or people of color interact with the criminal justice system, there are studies out there that show that they're more harshly punished, so there's disproportion there. And that's what we've seen as the school to prison pipeline. And, and that has to be broken. And it has to be broken, in my estimation personally, at the earliest stage of that, before we get down to the tail end of it. So if we begin to look at school discipline policies and how they're enforced and how they should better be enforced and what sorts of training should be uh, used in school districts and how those trainings are effective or not, then we begin to get at the root cause at the very beginning of that, that pipeline. And who breaks that pipeline? Well, a number of people break that pipeline. In my personal view, obviously, you know, we can legislate and litigate on these issues, and those are important tools. So when you look at uh, you know, the Department of Education and the work that they do, but at the end of the day, uh, it, it, it's at home and in the school districts and in the classrooms. So this has got to be a joint effort. You can't say, okay, principals, it's up to you, or hey, parents, it's up to you, or hey, school teachers, it's up to you, or hey, member of Congress, it's up to you. It's something we all have to address and work on in order to be able to